Hello and welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network special interview. Joining me today is a man who needs no introduction. He's an Impact Wrestling megastar. And on October 7th in Albany, New York, he has a huge opportunity as he challenges Josh Alexander for the Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. Very happy to welcome to the show the one and only Eddie Edwards. Eddie, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you for taking the time to chat. My pleasure, man. My pleasure, man. So on October 7th, Albany, New York, you have an opportunity to become a three-time Impact Wrestling World Champion. Uh, so your thoughts on this huge match and your thoughts on Josh Alexander? I mean, it's bound for glory. It's our biggest show of the year. It's the main event. It's for the Impact World title. You know, for me, I couldn't ask for a better spot, a better position to be in, you know, to be able to go into that with my chance to win that world title for a third time. You know, leading up to this, I, I feel, you know, myself and Honor No More in general, I feel like, you know, we're all in the right groove right now. I feel like the momentum is all on my side and Honor No More's side going into this. And Josh, uh, he is a great champion. He's a great impact world champion. There's no doubt about it. And I respect everything that he's done. I mean, he he did it the right way. You know, he, he fought and he clawed his way to impact. It took him however many years, 14 years to get to impact yeah. wrestling. Mm -hmm. you know without get, before getting a shot and that was just to get the impact he did all that fought through all of his injuries you know broken neck and everything he makes the impact and he then he becomes the impact world champion that is something that i respect because you know i feel that i went through the same type of thing so his journey is something that i truly respect but unfortunately for him you know bound for glory i'm going to turn that dream into a nightmare when i win that world title for the third time you sent a huge message to Josh Alexander on the last episode of Impact on Access TV. Do you think you have the mental advantage going into the match? Uh, you know, I, Josh, there's no doubt about it. He's very strong mentally as well as physically. But, you know, it never hurts to try to take get a little edge here and there. And I think as of now, where my head is, my head's clear. I know what my goal is. I know yes. what I'm doing in my game plan. I don't know what Josh is, where Josh's head is at. If anything, maybe it helps me out. Okay, now Scott Demore called Josh Alexander the greatest wrestler in the world right now. After October 7th, is Scott Demore going to change his mind? Uh, after October 7th, Scott Demore is going to call me the Impact World Champion. That's okay. all. Okay. Okay. All right. So, are you going to be doing this alone, or is there going to be members of Honor No More at ringside with you? You know, whether they're out there physically with me or not. I don't know more. We always roll together. We're always there with each other. I know they always have my back. So whether they're in the back or the ringside, you know, sometimes, you know, impact front office likes to try to control us, which we don't take too kindly to. But sometimes they try to ban, you know, one or all of us from ringside. So I'll just wait and see how those cards play out. And then we'll go from okay. there. Okay. Now, a lot of my subscribers wanted me to ask you, what is the status, the honor no more status of PCO? Uh, you seem to be questioning his loyalty, loyalty uh, quite a bit. So what's the status of PCO in uh, honor no more? PCO is honor no more. I don't know more stands with PCO. Okay. You know, there's, we've had issues. Hey, we've had issues. Nobody needs to get all out of sorts about okay. it. Things happen, but we're handling it. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Leave it at that. Uh, another former Ring of Honor star recently made his Impact Wrestling uh, debut, Shane Taylor. Uh, could we see Shane Taylor joining Honor No More or maybe some other members joining, joining Honor No More? You know, we always have the applications out. We're always looking to expand, you know, and, and spread our message. The more people we have to spread the message, the more people we can turn to our side, to the correct side on this war, the better. So, I mean, Shane could be a, a great prospect to join on and more. Okay, well, big fan of Shane. Hopefully, I will see him on and more. So, here's, here's a question I'd like to ask you. How would a match featuring 2016 X Division champion Eddie Edwards versus 2022 X-Division champion Mike Bailey play out? How would that match play out? Uh, man, I mean, I think it would be I think it would be a hell of a match, you know, no doubt about that. And Mike Bailey is somebody that I would like to get my hands on, you know, current day, right now. I think okay. that we'd be able to go out there. I'd love to test him and see what he's made of out there. Okay. But you know, if, if you compare 2016 to current day Mike Bailey, I think we'd go out there and no matter what type of match it was, but if that exhibition's on the title, I know that we're both going to go all out. You know, we're going to leave it all out there. We're going to, he's going to do crazy things. I'm going to do my best to keep up and get crazy with them. So that's a match that I would like to see, you know, back then, but I would like to see it in the yeah. future. 
Yeah, it'd be a ter- fantastic, fantastic match. So how do you think Honor No More ranks um, against other top past and present factions uh, in Impact uh, slash TNA? You know, I, I think the, our history book has yet to be written. You know, we're, we're not all, it's not all said and done with us. So we won't know until the end, which I don't see happening anytime soon. But uh, as of right now, I feel that we have a chance to be the best faction that has ever stepped foot in Impact Wrestling. But only time will tell on that. All right. Um, apart from Honor No More, uh, are there any talents out there that you feel Impact Wrestling should be aggressively pursuing right now? You know, it, it's tough. There's there's so many great men and women in wrestling right now on the independent scene. Uh, there's not anybody specific that I'm going to say right now. I just love the fact that Impact is open to giving shots to people who may not have had them before. And I think that there's a lot of people flying under the radar on the independent scene who, if they get a shot, they will succeed. And I think it's just a matter of time before Impact scoops somebody up and, and sends them to the next level. All righty. So we, we spoke about Bound for Glory. Victory Road, uh, are there, what are your plans for Victory Road? And could we expect you and Josh to cross paths at Victory Road? At Victory Road, honor no more. You know, we'll, we'll be in the house and we'll be causing some chaos, perhaps, as honor no more. We tend to do from time to time. Um, and, you know, me and Josh, I'm focused on Josh. Josh is focused on me. I think it's a pretty good bet that our paths will be crossing uh, at Victory Road. You will honor no more eventually hold every single title in impact wrestling. You got the tag team champions, um, Kenny King. Uh, he um, could have had the, the X division title, but uh, what do you think? I think that would be a, a great guess. Uh, in the end, you know, we're trying to spread this message. What better way to spread it than having championship gold on around all of our waist? That's the best way to do it. So you've been with Impact Wrestling for quite some time. Um, You debuted, I believe, back in 2014. Uh, How does Impact Wrestling today compare with uh, when you first debuted with Impact Wrestling? Yeah, of course, it's different. You know, there's been a lot of ups and downs. There's been there's been management changes. Oh, we lost Eddie. We lost Eddie. Let's see if we get Eddie back. We lost Eddie. Oh, he's coming back. Let's get Eddie back in here. It looks like I lost you there for a second. Sorry, man. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, hold on. There, there you go. go. There Sorry. you go. Phone cut off. Um, you know, back then, it, I was obviously new, and it was something new to me, and it was a big change for me at that time. And now for myself i'm i'm very comfortable and and i'm enjoying what i'm doing very much and i can say now that you know the current between the roster and the front office at impact there's a great atmosphere going on you know there's a great relationship as well from the locker room to the front office everybody involved there's a great line of communication that's open between everybody everybody has the same goal, whether it's locker room, it's office, it's production, it's PR, it's everything, every part of Impact. We all have that same goal, and we want to just keep driving forward and keep moving forward with Impact. We want to continue to take it to the next level. You know, we don't know what the end game is, but we all know that we just want to keep moving forward, and that's the goal. As right now, Impact Wrestling has one of the best atmospheres I've ever been in. Yeah, and Impact Wrestling just knocks it out of the park each and every time, uh, whether it's on Impact on Access TV, whether it's um, on um, Impact Plus or YouTube Ultimate Insiders, your events just knock it out of the park each and every time. And uh, what do you think Impact would need to do to get more um, more eyes on the product? Uh, I know uh, we see viewers like at 120, 130,000. Um, is there anything that they could we could do to get more viewers uh, to to watch Impact Wrestling? Because once they watch and once they see the product, they're going to want to watch the product over and over again. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I was going to say. It's just spreading the word, you know, getting people to tune in. Just spread the word like you're doing with us now. It's spread the word of of Impact Wrestling. And and for people who aren't watching, just get them to tune in because there's going to be something that you're going to enjoy and something you're going to love because Impact Wrestling has something for everybody. You know, we have... We have the knockouts. We have the knockouts tag teams. We have the X division. We have Lucha Libre. We have hardcore. We have, you know, every every different type of wrestling. We have promos and vignettes. There's going to be something that you will love 
on impact wrestling. It's just a matter of getting, you know, getting those eyes on the product. And once they do, we're going to have them hooked. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm, I've been hooked for, for many, many, many years, man. Uh, so I'm sure you've been asked this question before. I just don't know the answer. Uh, could, would he, could we ever see you and Davy Richards reunite in Impact? I know you've reunited on the, on the indie scene, uh, but reuniting in Impact and possibly having another run at the Impact Wrestling World Tag Team titles. You know, in the world of professional wrestling, you never say never. So I'd say that there is always a chance that that could happen. Like you said, me and Davey are tagging. We're doing some independent shows together. And we picked up right where we left off. So who knows what the future holds for us. Yeah, I'd love to see you guys back at Impact Wrestling get get uh, your sixth run uh, at the Impact Wrestling uh, Tag Team titles. Uh, do you think you'll be in the Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame one day? Is that a goal of yours? You know, that's not, it's not something that I focus on now. And that's also okay. not something not something that's up to me it's more i just want to continue doing what i'm doing and put in the work that needs to be done and in the end that's out of my hands all right um you debuted about 20 years ago uh you've had a just a fantastic career uh how long do you think you're going to keep wrestling for i'm not saying that you're gonna i'm not saying when are you gonna retire but how do you have anything in there in your mind that maybe when you might want to stop wrestling i don't there's no time frame in my mind it's okay. kind of you know, ride it till the wheels fall off or when the time comes and the moment is there, I feel like I'll know when that time comes. All right. And in all your years of Impact Wrestling, what is the one accomplishment that you're the most proud of? Man, I would say, honestly, it's the longevity. It's my tenure with the company is which I'm most proud of. You know, I've been here for, you know, over eight years at this point, And I'm yeah. proud that, you know, that the company wants me to be a part of, of Impact Wrestling. That is something that I'm very proud of, the fact that I could say I've been here longer than anybody at this point. That's something that I'm very proud of. Can we expect you to be with Impact Wrestling for the rest of your career? Fingers, okay. are, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But That is my goal, my friend. That's oh, my goal. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. So last question, I'll let you go because I know I'm sure you're, you're very busy. Uh, and I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. You've already answered it. Are you going to become a three-time champion on October 7th at Bound for Glory? And the answer is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> There you go. All right, Eddie. I, I just want to say, as I said before I hit record, it was an absolute honor to have you on the show. I've wanted to interview you for such a long time. And this was, I'm still marking out, man. I'm still, I've been marking out for the entire interview. So uh, thank me, you so much. And I hope I could, uh, we could do this again soon. Me too, man. I, re I really do appreciate the kind words. And honestly, thank you for taking the time speaking to me and spreading the word of Impact Wrestling, man. I really Always, man. I'm an I'm a, I'm a Impact Wrestling warrior. Always spreading the word, man. So good luck at Bound for Glory and enjoy the rest of your evening, my friend. Thank you, too. Take care. Bye-bye.